Hi guys and girls on YouTube, welcome to my channel. I've got a very interesting fault here in the Samsung microwave. Uh, the model number is MC32J7055CT. Um, now the customer's brought it in. Um, he says if you press the button here that says microwave, it doesn't actually work. But you can operate the microwave by pressing the start button every time you press it's 30 seconds but if you want an intermediate time one in the in the middle um, you can't actually press that uh, and set the time um, now he said it started intermittent and it's got worse and now it's stopped altogether um, so the obvious thing you'd think is it's this keyboard behind here um, so i've gone and ordered this brand new keyboard uh, and guess what? It's exactly the same as it was before. It still doesn't work. Uh, so that can only leave a fault on the control panel. Um, but I've just noticed something that I didn't spot before. So let's just move it to another bench and I'll give you a quick demo. So uh, hopefully you don't make the mistake I've just made. Right, so it's plugged in. Now watch this. So we press the start button. We can start it for 30 seconds every time we press the button. I'll press the stop, but if we press the microwave, let's just clear that. Press the microwave, nothing at all happens. Uh, if I press the one above it, combination, you see it goes into combination and we cancel it. But if we press the microwave, nothing happens. Now, I've also noticed what the customer didn't mention. Um, it's not just the microwave. The combi button does nothing. And also this one that says healthy cooking does nothing. If I press the others, you see it does um, it does perform an action. But if we press healthy cooking, nothing happens. Nothing happens on the microwave. Nothing happens on the combi. Uh, so it's definitely a fault on the control panel. But, um, and this is what I didn't notice before, let's put it into child lock and just show you what happens. Right, it's a little darker in here now. I've had to turn the light out to demonstrate this. So to put it in child lock, you press and hold the button with the padlock on for three seconds uh, until an L comes up on the display. So let's do that. Right, that L indicates it's in child lock. But now, if you look at the display, we've got two more Ls lit. That's actually faint, quite faint. And there's another L actually lit on the display there which is even fainter which i hadn't noticed before um so i would imagine that that indicates there is definitely a problem um with the uh, control panel if we cancel the child lock now it's impossible to see that there's any other segments lit let's just put it on again and you can see that faint L. Um, now there is um, a 2.4 series EEPROM uh, on the control panel. Uh, what I shall be doing now is ordering a brand new board. And then I'll remove the EEPROM and read the program from it. And store it on my PC just in case it's a problem with the EEPROM. Um, so uh, if you've got one of these in and uh, you've got a complaint a button doesn't work. Uh, don't immediately rush in and change this because that was an expensive mistake so we're going to stop the video now and uh, we'll come back to this when the new board arrives right so the new board's just arrived i've fitted it works absolutely perfect i'll show you in a minute um, now i've checked here from the, the keypad it actually goes straight into this pre-programmed uh, microcontroller uh, now to get to that you have to take that display off i've taken that off i've reflowed all the pins um i've cleaned it with flux remover um there's absolutely no difference so it, it must be that chip that's faulty um i did read the eprom on the new one and it says the eprom's empty um so i'm not just sure um why they have an eprom but if we look here um there's some pins and it says on board writing uh, and they actually connect straight to that microcontroller so there's no point even changing that if you could get older one because it's it must be pre-programmed samsung in the board 
so anyway that has cured the problem if you look now I'll press the button that says microwave and then we can adjust the power um, also the combi that didn't work before that works now and the healthy cooking that works and if we put it into child lock you can see that there's nothing else lit on the display apart from the L um, so that's just a quick video um, how to diagnose um, a problem on these don't make the mistake I've made and just automatically change the keyboard all right guys and girls on YouTube many thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next video goodbye